We are seeing electricity price rises across Australia and over the next five to ten years that's projected to increase largely due to a $42 billion investment that's been agreed to by government to upgrade our poles and wires that delivers electricity to our homes and to businesses. This is due largely to a lack of maintenance over recent years and a growing population and growing demand across Australia. We're already seeing climate impacts in Australia and the science tells us that we need to dramatically reduce uh, levels of pollution in order to avoid future climate change. Our economy is already too dependent on sources of energy that create pollution. We know the pollution is bad for our environment, it's bad for future generations, it's bad for our health and it's also bad for our economy. 40% of our emissions in Australia come from electricity because we burn coal for generation. The public is generally supportive of doing something to address climate change because they know how dangerous it is. Uh, but there are a lot of fears out there that a price tag on pollution will drive up the cost of energy. There are vested interests trying to protect the status quo who are whipping up fear in the community. There are countless studies to support the fact that the most cost effective way to reduce our pollution is to put a price on it. There are lots of myths out there right now that the leading cause of electricity price rises are the subsidies to clean energy and the price on pollution. And this is just not true. A price on pollution is reflecting the true cost, economic and environmental, of burning the coal to generate electricity that we use in our homes. It's factoring in the costs that we currently don't pay for on our bills, the real economic costs such as health impacts, climate change and the dirty air. A price on pollution is very similar to the campaigns that were run over 40 years to reflect the true public health cost of cigarette smoking to our economy in the price of cigarettes. Putting a price on pollution makes clean energy cheaper sooner so we can all be using clean energy in our homes. It is critical to give businesses the certainty to make that investment in clean energy. In fact, by not putting that price in place, we're delaying those investments and having a bigger impact on electricity prices as companies prolong the life of old electricity power plants. The federal government's 20% renewable energy target by 2020 is already helping to transition Australia to a clean energy economy. Now this target will cost households only 80 cents per week. This is a very small cost on our electricity bills compared to the costs we'll be paying for the upgrades in the poles and wires across Australia. Small scale solar is often criticised because people are scared that it's driving up the cost of energy even more than it's already going up because the government gives it support. But we have studies that show us that the Victorian scheme to support small scale solar will only cost $1.30 per household per year in its most expensive year, which really isn't that much when you compare it to, say, the cost of a cup of coffee. But it has really important benefits, which include the fact that it generates energy when the sun is shining, which is often in times of peak demand, at times when you want to use your air conditioner, those sorts of times. Just because the price of energy is going up, it doesn't mean that household bills have to. A great way for people to address energy price increases in their own homes and businesses is to implement energy efficiency measures. Energy efficiency is really easy to implement around the home and there's a range of different measures that are outlined on ACF's Green Home website. We need to make polluters pay for the pollution that they generate so that we can afford to do other things to help us move to a clean energy economy and support the households that can't afford energy price increases. The pool of money that we generate from putting a price tag on pollution could be used for support for energy efficiency measures, to develop clean energy solutions and also to compensate those households that can least afford energy price increases. Electricity prices are going up, but they'll go up less with a price on pollution. So households will be better off financially if we put a price on pollution rather than if we delay. So beyond looking at energy efficiency measures at home, people who are really worried about price increases can take the really powerful action of writing a letter to your MP or to the Minister to let them know that you support a price on pollution, knowing that it is the cheapest and most efficient way to drive down emissions in the longer term and protect energy prices from rising even higher than they have to.